Hey, so this morning got a pillow, got water and a towel because I've got to get prepared to have something named Cambo. And Cambo is actually a medicine that is was found in the Amazon. It's actually in the northeast areas of the Amazon, I believe. And shamans would use it to clear people of physical ailments and also to clear them of any spiritual Panama, they say. So any type of spiritual darkness that's over people, it cleanses them of that, cleanses them of any illness. And actually research has shown that it's 4,000 times stronger than morphine, that it's um, extremely antibacterial, extremely antifungal, and it causes the body to detox immediately. So what is Cambo? What is it? Well, actually, it's a poison from a frog found in the Amazon. That's what it is. So today, I'm gonna to be putting this poison from a frog found in the Amazon. The, the frog's called a giant monkey frog. It's a bright green frog with big eyes that shamans grab. They take a bit of um, wood, they wipe off the poison, which is like a waxy secretion that comes from the frog. Then they put the frog down and the frog runs off, does well, bounces off, does whatever it does. And then, um, We'll take it to the person who they're going to give the poison to. You're going to see they'll burn a couple of, they'll burn a little, you know, a couple of layers of skin. Then wipe the waxy poison on, put some powder over, and then for about 15 minutes, the body purges. The body gets rid of toxins that are in it. So what does that mean? Well, it means you're going to throw up. It means that you might, things might come out the other side. It means that you're gonna throw up bile, your liver just gonna drop everything. But then afterwards, apparently, for the rest of the day and for even weeks, you can feel an extreme amount of energy. Your stamina's increased, your endurance is increased, your clarity's increased. And the shamans say that Panama, the, how do they put it? The mask, the illusion of life, this illusion of separateness and Buddhists call it Maya, the same thing. This illusion of separateness in the world lifts and you can see the truth about the universe, you can see the oneness about it and you feel amazing. You get to experience your body without any toxins, without, without any Panama, <laughs> if you like. You get to experience your body as how what it's capable of. So I've never had it before. We're gonna test it out. We'll see what happens. An interesting story too of how the legend has it of how the um, shamans figured out how what to do with this frog was that apparently there was a village in the Amazon where everyone was sick and the shaman tried different types of medicines and people weren't getting better. So the shaman decided to take some ayahuasca and ask Mother Ayahuasca, the plant spirit, what, what he should do, how, what he should do to help his village. And apparently the ayahuasca plant spirit led him into the forest, well, not the forest, the rainforest, led him into the rainforest and told him to start making frog noises. So he started making some frog noises and then these frogs started ribbiting back and the ayahuasca said, take the frogs, um, waxy poison and give it to the people and that will heal them. And apparently it did. did was that made up? Possibly, I don't know. And uh, maybe it was the truth, so. That's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to give it a go, see how it feels, see if it works. Só alegria. Só por cima. Só na frente. Só na frente. Muita gratidão.
Hey, so it's four hours after I had the cambo, and to be honest, I am not feeling good at all. Being tired, sleepy, um, I think I'm really dehydrated actually because I'm doing a lot of throwing up. So I've had a veggie juice, I've had something to eat, um, also had some a lot of water and salt. I think I need a lot more to recover. Um, I, was, I thought I was going to feel really good a couple of hours later. I do not feel good. So I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Everybody else who took it um, is, is feeling the same way as me right now. So I don't know. There's a part of me that's thinking maybe that was just a bad idea because I do not feel like high performance right now. I do not feel like getting any work done. In fact, I feel like having a bath and going to sleep. <laughs> um, the shaman said that apparently you should be having this minimum three times in one month. If you have like an initiation, you have it three times in one month. I do not feel like doing it again <laughs> at all, <laughs> never mind in one month. So um, we'll, see. we'll see how I recover. And um, again, you know, shot this video because I like to try new things, even though it's not really new, apparently it's been used for a thousand years. But I like to try novel things, if it's going to give me an edge, uh, I'll share it with you. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it's, if it's a way to heal, if it's a way to increase your energy, if it's a way to like spiritually evolve, I want to try it and if it works, share it with you. Um, there's a lot of good things said about Cambo. Right now, I'm just feeling not too good, so <laughs> so I can't really tell you the long-term effects of it, see how I feel tomorrow. Will I do it again? Maybe. I might do it just to see if, you know, if, if I do three times in a month, like, I do have a breakthrough and I feel way better. We'll see. Right now, I do not feel like it, though, so if I do, it is, it is purely for you to see. So I can um, go the whole distance and let you know at the end. So interesting stuff. Let's see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> when the shaman first put the cambo venom in, burn it, put it in. Um, it hurt a little bit to burn the skin, and I, I felt the venom after about thirty seconds. Just felt a little bit nauseous. Um, a little bit woozy, a little bit nauseous, and then after about a minute or two, I, I wanted to throw up. Um, and the whole experience, pretty much, was just body like wanting to throw up. Um, it was it was pretty rough. It was tiring. It took a lot of energy to throw up so much. And throughout the whole thing, my mind was just saying, "I hope I hope this is going to be over soon." <laughs> so um, throwing up, throwing up. Um, just not feeling too good. I felt my lips swell up, felt my ears swell up, like about having a reaction to it all. And in fact, my lips and ears did swell up. Uh, and then it, it must have lasted about 30, 30 minutes. Everybody else got five hits of the cambo. For some reason, the shaman decided to give me 11 when everyone else only got five, but I get 11. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, it was. It was pretty brutally work, I gotta be honest, it wasn't an enjoyable experience. I was just was throwing up the whole time. It felt like throwing up. I felt tired. <laughs> and I was glad when it was over, to be honest. That's my experience so far. <laughs> wasn't any I didn't have any spiritual breakthroughs. Wasn't any like enlightenment I got through it. I just felt sick the whole time. <laughs> I felt like throwing up, and I was throwing up the whole time. That is that is pretty much my experience. If you're interested in improving your energy, improving your focus, and being at your best, at this moment, I do not recommend Cambo. <laughs> what I definitely do recommend is you stick to the basics. You get your, you get your basics right, you get your nutrition right, you get your sleep right, you get your um, workout, your movement correct, and you get your breathing right, you get your meditation right, and you also get clear and focused by creating a plan and creating a vision of what you want. So maybe Cambo can come in there later, maybe, I'm not too sure, but for, for sure, stick to the fundamentals. Air, water, food, sleep, movement, 